I'm getting attacked by everything in the water right now. I can't get out. Let me get out. What just... There's a north row attacking me. There's a north row stuck on the... Cart. I've lost everything. The smithy's gone. That's... That's our stuff. Alrighty, guys, and welcome back to Ark, where today I'm moving bases. So firstly here, I do got to go over some stuff. I did do a little farming off screen here once everyone else hopped on because that's all that we were doing was farming stuff. So I it was really kind of boring, not really worth recording at all. So what I was able to do here, I was able to get me nice 28 walls and 19 foundations. And I was also able to get me a behemoth gateway and a reinforced behemoth gate. So now this should be all I need to really help block off a base location. And I do got a bit of a place looked eh, kind of picked out. I'm not 100% sure. If Nameless spawned there, it's it's going to be a no. Um, but I watched Ross Clock's video. It's the number 11. And yeah, that's where we're heading. So if you guys want to skip to that part in his video, that's where I picked for my base location. I figured it looks cool. It's right on the edge of green and blue. So yeah, that's where I'm heading. Oh, also, I did tear down the base and everything is on the cart. And as well, last night while I was farming out stuff, I decided to make me a primitive long neck just so that way I could mess with Doc. And I shot him. <laughs> so that was only about the interesting thing that happened last night once everyone hopped on. But yeah, now anyways, I'm going to head over there with just me and my, uh, my little bugger here. And we're going to get the foundations here placed down and all that just because i weigh too much to go on the iguanodon and then once we get everything placed we're gonna come back we're gonna hop on the iguanodon and hopefully get everything there and then we can set up the base okay so from portal what i gotta do here is basically just follow the river and i mean that's pretty simple i was thinking about taking out this carcanos real quick with the iguanodon it's only a level 30 it might be able to do it or, I was thinking about even taming up a Sarko to do it later, just so that way I can get uh, a ghillie suit. But, all that I think is going to happen after I place down the base, because that's going to be the best option. Ooh. Be careful with your webbing some as well, you don't want to waste it all. Okay, I got a plan. That Karkonos just died to a dire bear, but it looks like they're eating its corpse. Oh, nobody's eating its corpse. Could I? This is a this is a stupid option, and I don't have any tools to do it. Okay. I should focus on getting the base, but this is going to be easy organic polymer, and I don't have to risk any creatures for it. If I could get... Oh, there's a circle right behind me. Oh, that was not worth it at all. Yeah. Alright, uh, we're just going to keep following the river here until we get to where I want to build the base. Ooh, also, uh, here's a neat little trick that you can do with these guys. If you shoot the ground, then do that. You can get a nice little altitude boost, so that way you can get above the water line in the ground, so that way you can get swinging. But do watch your webbing, so that way you don't run out. Also, there is something I have noticed here with the Nothrosaurus mod. They are a bit over spawning in some locations. Like right here, there's a good four or five of them directly in front of me. Luckily, Northrows are uh, docile. They're passive until you hit them. So they're neutral, I guess is what the term would be. So as long as I don't like actually get into a fight with one or hit one, I don't have to worry about them. Ooh, come on, grab on. Thank you. And I just paused right as I spotted the green drop over here. So we're going to get that. We're almost to our little location here for setting up the base. Come on, reel me in. Okay, is it safe? Yes, looks like it. Come on, swing me over this drop. There we go. What's in this drop? Arrows, great. That's literally all I've been finding. Uh, so I just got a drop here that's green, and I got me a nice Ascendant Ravenger saddle. Look at that. I am definitely going to get me a Ravenger here later. Oh, we're going to get a high level one too for it. So, 
we're almost to the ledge there. It's just right over this way. And then it's going to be kind of right on the ledge is where we're building the base. Okay, so we're almost there. It's quite literally down here. It's this little... Oh, there's Ravengers. I'm going to have to clean out the area. Uh, I'm out of webbing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Up, 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 up. Okay. That was a close one. Um, All our armor just broke. But it doesn't appear that Nameless are spawning. So, let's get to clearing things out. Oh, also, look it. There's a little Cosmo. I just spotted him. Or spotted her. But they dangle from the ceiling, apparently. And there is a Pyromane. Level 5. Okay, things are going to be a little bit more tricky than I thought. Let's start with the snake. That's going to be tricky. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the Ravengers ran off. What I'm going to do here real quick is we're going to hot bar the Behemoth Gate. The Gateway. And I'm not 100% sure. Let's get a better aerial view. Are they over in here? Ravengers, come on. All right, looks like if I box it off now, all I'm going to have to deal with is a snake. Because that Sasquatch there killed the other snake. Oh, I just scared myself bad because I, I, you don't want to get the, too close to those guys. They'll get mad. The. Okay, that can kind of protect me. I might need to uh, sacrifice my trap here to close off some bits, but I think for now that should hold or at least deter anything from trying to get too far in, but it's going to literally be a dash with the Iguanodon to get down here, and I'm pretty sure to get my second Cosmo. I'm just going to spawn back up there at Portal. After dying, grabbing him and just swinging back over. Um. But, yeah, I'm really hoping. Is that a Baskalis? Or is that just a weird looking dirt pile? It's a weird looking dirt pile. If I'm correct. Yeah. Oh, it's a gas vein! Oh! That's a plus. I didn't even know that base had this base had that. That's a gas vein. So I can set up a gas extractor right there. That is perfect. Uh, wasn't there a Titanoboa over here as well? I'm looking for that snake. I hear it. But I don't see it. Ooh, now I can't see anything because I'm in the tree. There it is. See it? It's in the bushes. <laughs> Ooh, was that did that say level 75? Luckily, Titana Bow are easy to duke. If they do get close. You can just drop them quick if you get behind them with a pike. Um, but he did get one bite off on me. So. We are going to hang out here for a second until I wake back up. If I even do pass out. Oh, but there is something I forgot to go over with you guys this morning. That Iguanodon I have is not the same one from yesterday. It was killed by a level 100 aberrant dire bear. I had legit just logged off, went to go get lunch, and uh, Gong, one of the other members on our server, uh, yeah, he... <laughs> He told me that it died, and he was able to get the saddle and all the berries back, but yeah. He didn't know what killed it, but luckily I could look it up. And as you can see, I did try getting a Carnosaurus yesterday. It was a, a juvenile one. Uh, Ravenger ate it. It kind of more or less was a quick tame to actually be a sacrifice to feed. And by the looks of it here as well, is I'm not going to pass out. So, what I'm going to do is me and my Cosmo here... 
are... Should I set up a bit of a foundation? Because I got all this stuff on me that I was thinking I was going to use, and I didn't. Because I haven't decided yet, and I really feel like I need to clean out this area a bit. Okay, I've made it back over here to the portal. Now, the tricky part is here is getting our Iguanodon down. Without killing it, mind you. As you can see here, we have a lot of weight. So it's not going to move fast at all. So I'm wondering if I should... Where did my cart go? Ooh, my cart keeps falling through the map. Um, here's the thing as well. Once I get down from here, I'm not sure if there's a way back up to Portal. So once the Guanadon's down, it's down. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of think this through. Hopefully, I can reduce the weight, the load. Uh, is there anything I can drop? Yes. What I'm gonna do? We're gonna throw out all the stone and wood and the structures. We'll keep these gates because I might need them, and we're gonna keep the stone structures just because they're better. But I think that should be enough of a rate re weight reduction. Yep. Yep. He's no longer flashing, so we should move full speed. Now, if I'm correct, if I just go right over this lip, boom, water. Then if I swim this way, luckily as well, Iguanodons are pretty quick swimmers. We should get to land. Okay, so we're almost over by the waterfalls. I now would like to find just a nice safe way down. Uh, is that... That was a roll rat eating a Sarko. Nice. So I believe if I go this way, it should be the way down. That's smooth. Yeah. I just got to make sure I stick with the river. This is honestly the scary part because this is all my stuff. And if I lose it, that's my that's my base gone. And all my like work for the previous almost, I want to say 16 hours of progress so far on this server. Because it's been two, two, almost two eight-hour days, is what I want, want to say. And, oh, there's North Rose everywhere. I know that they're passive. Is, but I just ran right out of Ravager. That thing's so going to aggro on me. Um, Let me just keep moving, then. If I just stick with the river, we should get there. That is a big fish. That is a 3.6. That is a massive... That is a massive fish. Alright, now if we were taming, uh, where do they, shadow mains? That thing there would be the prize. Alright, you wouldn't even feed it to the shadow main. That would be the one you keep. Oh, and you want to know something? Fishing baskets are actually now a thing if I'm correct. Right? If I could smell, spell fish. Yeah, see, fishing baskets. So technically, I could tame that fish. If I had a fishing basket. Again, it's just me getting sidetracked here. We're trying to get to the base. And I'm seeing interesting stuff. And I am noticing here. The Iguanodon is moving quite fast. And it's barely losing any stamina when it's on all four. Which I think is a feature. Because it still loses stamina. It's definitely not like bugged out and prevented. Because if I go into this mode. The long. Like where it's running on two legs. And I start meleeing stuff. As you can see, its stamina does lower, but it doesn't lower by a whole lot. And as well, we're at the fork in the river. I just got to make sure that we start going down the right side, the the side that forks off in the direction of our base. We got to make sure we go with that one. I'm getting attacked by everything in the water right now. I can't get out. Let me get out. What just... There's a north row attacking me. There's a north row stuck on the cart i've lost everything the smithy's gone that's that's our stuff i have no clue where i even died i feel like it's up here oh i'm hopefully gonna be able to recover little man but we died right in the water why did that north Road start attacking us i didn't even hit him oh that's a baby giga raptor that's not good i spawned on the nest oh oh 
Oh no, keep running, keep running. All right, everything's gone. But like the North Row infestation, I thought those things wouldn't attack. Why did it start attacking me? Or was it just because it was stuck on the trailer and it was attacking something else? Oh, I haven't gotten the message saying that my Iguanodon died yet. Oh no. This is not good. There's also apparently a Yailin somewhere that tagged me at some point. Ooh, pardon me, Spino. Well, my boys. There's raptors. Hmm. Did I lose them and just not notice it? I still got the Cosmo. He's somewhere in there. Try blog, but I've lost another Iguanodon. I've also lost all my resources. That's not good at all. This is the North Row that was attacking us. Is there a bag in the water? Yes, there is. This is going to be sketchy. That's all our stuff. Oh my. But we're getting attacked by piranhas. Okay. Okay. Now all I got to do is find a way to recover my Cosmo. Without getting eaten by raptors. Um, we'll track both of them real quick. Maybe. Okay. I'm going to just go for my stuff. Okay, okay, okay. This is all I want. We're going to just take impor the important stuff. Okay, yeah, that. That's all the important stuff. Cosmo, Cosmo, Cosmo. <gasps> oh, Raptor! Alright, come on, little buddy. We got to get out of here. Um... I mean, at least we recovered our stuff. <sighs> but that's an iguanodon that we lost. And I don't even I didn't even see his bag. I don't. Oh, so I don't know where his body was. We got a Sarko after us too. That's just great. Let's get out of here. <sighs> They'll never keep up with me, especially with Spider Man mode. Okay, so we're almost there. It's just, I gotta be doing my dashes here. So that way we can actually get there safely. And I just threw myself all the way back where I was. That was epic. This is almost where we started. Great. We're back in the war zone that I wanted to skip over. Look at that, like literally... It's like a war zone. Everything's fighting everything. Oh, I don't have it. I walked into a hallucinogen. Hopefully no ravagers roll up on me. I should just hold still. But I'm going to try and get back to the base. I'm pretty sure we're... <gasps> That's a Sarko. Ooh. It was right as I looked. Okay, I'm gonna try and get over to the base safely, but I gotta wait for my uh, little buddy here to recharge. I just died of uh, fall damage on like three feet. I'm not joking. I'm now mad because everything that could go wrong is going wrong. This is what I get for trying to move bases by myself. That's an attack. That's an attack. Okay, as long as that Cosmos tracked, I should be able to find my body no matter what. But I'm going to run through this war zone real quick, and I then will get back to you guys. It's either that, or this is about to be the longest death montage. I'm not joking. Everything is shooting at me. Everything is biting me. Everything is like, look at that. They're flying over my head. 
Is he chasing me? I feel like this thing is chasing me. It is. Oh no, I gotta keep moving. I'm almost out of stamina. What do I do? What do I do? It's got area superiority. Take cover in the rocks. Oh, it's still tagging me. I'm almost to my Cosmo, though. If I can just make it. Once that gets to 40, though, the thing's gonna dive bomb me. I have somehow perfectly parkoured over all those rocks. Cosmo, come on. Uh, you. Just transfer everything. We gotta go. My base is literally right up there. Did I outrun it? No! This is not fun! It killed me! A level 15 killed me! I don't know what to do against those! Oh, because this isn't going to spawn me any closer, is it? No, it's just going to spawn me in a worse spot. At least, luckily, they're essentially at the base. Oh, or at least the new base location. Where am I running? It's dark. It's a crevice. I'm just brute forcing my way through this. I should turn around and find a proper way down there. Dang it. Where did he even spawn me? Kind of just spawned me near the river. Okay, we've almost made it back with no incidents. There is a pyro main uh, just around, yeah, over there. So let's try and not aggro that. But we're we're almost back. Okay, we'll drop down. We're gonna get our stuff. At least we haven't lost everything. We still have. The foundations, the nice Ravenger saddle. Oh, I lost all my other blueprints, though, because I had a Sarko saddle that was good. Well, it was a good Sarko saddle blueprint. Now I've lost that. Guess, what's that sound? It sounds like something's getting attacked. Let's go up here. It's probably that Yailene attacking something. Why am I stuck? There we go. Because I got a feeling that thing is now in my base. That's the pyro main. What the heck? Is it attacking the pyro main? Or is the pyro main getting ganged up on by Ravengers? Oh, it looks like it's getting ganged up on by Ravengers. Okay. So, what I need to do here... Is get a little structure set up and we gotta rebuild. They got we got bugs. Hopefully I can lure everything away by just swinging back and forth and getting them to walk off the edge. Come on. Snake, I'm right here. Snake might come right for me. Okay, we're going to have to do this old-fashioned way. Oh, no, that's not good. Because now I have to kill it, because I know for a fact I'm going to pass out. Or that's going to happen. And he's going to kill my Cosmo. Why is this not working for me? We just wanted to move bases. That's all. Why, game? Why? I gotta I actually think this through now, because... There's a snake, there's bugs, and yeah. Okay. So, we're back at the base. Or where we want to build the base. Got two Ravengers. And a pyromane in my way. My Cosmo is all the way down there. So, I guess just YOLO at this point. 
just send it. If I make it, I make it. I hit one of the bad mushrooms. I'm not going to make it. Because I'm going to freeze to death. Like, I'm full on going to freeze to death. Because of that mushroom there. Because it's two minutes of cold. I don't think I have enough health. Yeah. I'm dying again. I'm going to die just because I hit a mushroom. This, this place is hell. And I've chosen to live here. I'm full on honestly thinking of reconsidering my options at this point because I've lost almost everything okay we're gonna legit just sit here and wait for us to die okay I'm a I'll get back to you guys if we're a I'm able to just get to my Cosmo this is just getting frustrating okay we're back it's just getting down this without falling that's the second time I've done that Okay, my Cosmo's right there. I don't need to get to that previous body. If I whistle to you, will you come to me? Or are you technically a corpse right now? And it's just not telling me. I'd hate if my Cosmo died. I'd honestly be mad. Oh, hold up. Is he moving? It does seem like he moved. Come on, climb. Climb, damn you. Okay, okay. There we go, there we go. Ooh, Cosmo? Oh, he is moving! There we go. Buddy! Oh, you're fine. Alright, he's okay. Now, I gotta get up to this cliff. So that way I can get my gear. And, you know what, buddy? This was a horrible decision. We are gonna go reassess on where we're gonna live. Okay? Because we've lost... Almost everything I need to find my corpse or at least my bag I think I saw it if I can swing in yes there's my bag boom give me all my stuff and then audio snakes and pyromanes and other nasties that live here I'm out I'm going to go find some place with greener pastures alrighty guys I'm going to be full honest with you. I can't think of any other base location. So what I've done is I've blocked this off better. I've moved the behemoth gate over about a foot. Now all we have to do is truly just clean it out. All right. And then block like the spawns off. So nothing else spawns here. And yeah. Problem is, is it's these guys. And they can shoot. And I feel like they can do damage to my stone structures. See? There we go. That one died. Yeah, they do quite a bit, too. So, let's get this harvested up. What I think I'm going to do here real quick is... I do have my tools on me. I was able to recover them. And luckily, for a minute there, I thought I wasn't able to recover the long neck. Luckily, I was, because it was in the smithy, and that's what we were able to grab. But what I'm going to do here is kind of uh, place down a foundation a bit, like, right here. This is just going to be a temp foundation. It's not going to be, like, an actual part of the base. It's just something where I can throw down a bed and some stuff just so I can start spawning here. And it will hopefully also start preventing the other things from spawning in here. So I need a bed. I probably don't have the stuff for one, do I? No, I don't. I need wood. Luckily, that's not hard to get. We have some trees by the looks of it. It's just... Oh, there's still a snake in here, isn't there? I was I able to get that? Oh, not the mushrooms. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I saw it last second. I need to find... Hold up. These. Come on. No, I need actual mushrooms. I thought these were the harvestable mushrooms. Are they not? Is there no blue blue zone mushrooms I can pick? Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, aquatic, aquatic, aquatic. That should counteract it. I oh, know it should block it. It doesn't counteract it. Okay, what I think I should do here is just because it is technically the freezing, 
Um, I should just focus on crafting a bed. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not joking. As soon as I got all my stuff back and up on that hill and I stopped to recharge, I just stopped to think for a second. It's like, where else could I build? And it was just the fact that this thing had a gas node that was really pulling me back here. I mean, it's my own personal gas node that I'm not blocking anyone else off of because it's quite literally in my base. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with it. Alrighty, guys. So now two deaths later from those mushrooms, I was able to get the walls put up, get me another smithy and a couple forges. And I was also able to get as much resources as I could before my pickaxe and my axe broke. So now that we've got this set up, we're pretty good standings here for the base. Um, nothing else has spawned in yet. I mean, I walked around this place cleaning it out. As you can see, there's trees missing. And uh, these things here, I thought they were bushes. No, they're trees. Like, see that? That's a tree. I punch it and it gives me wood. See? Wooden thatch. So, yeah, that was what was annoying. Because it would, like when you try and walk through them, see, like you bump. But... We've gotten some good progress here. Um, trying to think of anything else that we can do. I'm pretty sure tomorrow I'm going to be going for a Ravenger or a Fabricator or both. We might make it a two-parter, so we might start out the day taming up a Ravenger and then finishing it off by getting our Fabricator built. Because I just noticed something. We are level 48 and technically we are level 50. So let me quickly just distribute my uh, points here. I know I keep going into oxygen. That's just because when you walk through the mushrooms, that's what starts first, and then you start to pass out. Okay? So just be careful. But now that we are level 50, as you can see here, we can get a fabricator, and we can also get power generators. Now, the reason why I'm so excited about the power generators is you will notice it there in the level 40 line, the North Row Saddle. And as we saw from today, they are over spawning. And I definitely want one because they are definitely good. So we might try for one at some point. But as well with level 50, we do get access to Cryo. Which is awesome. Now, if I'm correct, I can build them in the charge station. Right? No. Okay... That's interesting. So where would I go to craft the cryopods? That's, uh, huh. Maybe I can check one of the drops, because I still got to run back and get my other Cosmo for today. And on my way back, I can probably swing by one of the green drops or, you know, there's drops just everywhere on the path. But... Maybe I can check one of them and see if I can craft them in there. Because if I have to go to the surface to craft cryopods, oh my, this is going to be uh, this is going to be an adventure. But I am also pretty sure that I'm going to be calling it here for today, because I do need a little bit of a break from Ark, just because again, I've lost a good chunk of my stuff. All right, I lost one of my good creatures today, and really didn't lose a whole lot of my stuff luckily but again it was just frustrating today i want to go take a break we got the base set up i'm hoping everything should be safe nothing should get destroyed but knowing my luck it's yeah i shouldn't be saying that but this has been gunshot mori guys signing off so if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying the episode please do consider leaving a like and subscribing also, do remember to ring that notification bell so that you guys can be notified upon me posting any new videos. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one.